We've got some breaking news just in now. Connecticut Democrats have picked their candidate in the race for the 5th Congressional District. Their pick is former Simsbury First Selectman Mary Glassman. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis is live at Crosby High School in Waterbury. Mark. Yes, and good evening, Anne and Darren. Good evening, everyone from Crosby High School. The voting has just been completed and has been made official. It, it was just about as close as you can get. 173 for former Simsbury First Selectman Mary Glassman. 167 for the National School Teacher of the Year, Johanna Hayes. Uh, she hasn't decided yet if there's going to be a primary, but Mary Glassman has secured the nomination of this 5th District Convention. How does that make you feel? It feels great. Feels great for it's the people. Tough battle. Of, tough battle, and it should be tough because this is a high stakes election, and people want to make sure they have a candidate who can go to Washington and fight some tough, tough fights. Right. Now, also, we should mention that uh, Manny Sanchez, the alderman from New Britain, qualified also for a primary. Uh, what is your view of the prospects of a three way primary in August? I've been in primaries before, so it's the democratic process. I respect the process, and regardless of what happened tonight, I'm going to go out and work hard and earn the support of the voters throughout the 5th District. All all right, Mary, congratulations. Thanks, Thanks for joining us here on News 8. So now, as I mentioned, Johanna Hayes, this was her first time out. Uh, she came very, very close. As a matter of fact, at one point in the, in the balloting, she was actually ahead uh, by a vote or two, but then the switches started. I believe it was the city of New Britain where the switches made the difference, took a couple of votes away from her, gave them to Mary Glassman. Uh, she told me just moments ago that she's going to talk with her husband and her family. Her husband is a police detective here in Waterbury to decide if they push on. And then, as I mentioned, uh, Alderman Manny Sanchez of New Britain qualified on the very first ballot with 17 percent of the vote for the primary uh, and has that option to also move ahead uh, uh, to the primary in August. So potential is there for a three-way primary, again, depending on uh, what Johanna Hayes and her family decide. So that's the story from here at the 5th Democratic Congressional District Convention at Crosby High School in Waterbury. Mark Davis, News 8.